We have to discuss another subject in anesthesiology, it is aspiration in anesthesia. Definition risk factors, management and starvation protocols. I have a picture of airways and upper esophagus. What you should know is that uh, trachea is anterior to the esophagus, this one is posterior. Here we have epiglottis, which should close normally in time of deglutition and swallowing. But how does it cure this aspiration? Or uh, it's vice versa, I mean content from the esophagus coming back and can make some leak or even a good aspiration of the content into the trachea and going to the pulmons. So let's talk more definitely about this. What is aspiration? By definition, aspiration is the inhalation of oropharyngeal or gastric contents into the lower airways that can lead to aspiration pneumonitis and or aspiration pneumonia. As well, uh, you can swallow uh, saliva from, uh, from your mouth and if you are not doing this properly, this can go as well in the trachea to clarify the definition. So what are the risk factors? They are classified in many in many parts like uh, I, I'll classify this as a central nervous system impairment or reduced consciousness like anesthesia, intoxication, head injury as well um, central nervous system impairment like uh, dementia or uh, ictus or any of the impairment. Full stomach uh, with recent meal, pain, trauma, opiates. Uh, bowel obstruction which uh, impair passage of uh, of the content down and it coming back to the uh, to the stomach and even can provoke the vomiting. Pregnancy which have increased intra-abdominal pressure, upper uh, gastrointestinal bleeding with uh, full filling of the stomach and uh, the same risk of vomiting. Reduced barrier pressure, pregnancy, abdominal distension, uh, hiatus, hernia, obesity, and diabetes as well. So, uh, if this is a esophagus and coming to stomach, or cardia, is this a weak point for aspiration? As well, uh, anatomy causes like pharyngeal pouch or a diverticulum, one of them are diverticulum of Zenker, uh, which represent an uh, outpouch and possibility of collecting, uh, collecting uh, the content we swallow here and even make this anaerobic or rotten. So operation on GI tract, any of the surgery on gastrointestinal uh, system and position head down horizontal horizontal position of the patient so if you are an anesthesiologist you should know uh, promptly that positioning patient with at least 30 degrees 30 degree of patient I mean head positioning or at least elevating not horizontal what is the management of uh, aspiration in patient under anesthesia. You should be awake and uh, be careful with this as any patient under anesthesia, especially if airways are not uh, secured or or during induction of the uh, rapid sequential induction, you can have this undesired uh, effect of aspiration. So management identify patient's risk Give antacids like ranitidine, sodium citrate, prokinetics like metocopramide, and anesthesia after six hours of uh, following meal. So, if you are giving anesthesia after at least six hours of uh, taking meal, you are certain that patient uh, have passage of the gastric content. During uh, the operation of intraoperative, you can insert gastric nasogastric tube for 
uh, gastric decompression of air at least and even uh, suction of the uh, of the content especially hydrochloric acid uh, induced patient on a rapid sequence induction with cricoid pressure and head up position if you detected the patient uh, aspirated so what is the management you uh, you call for help you can uh, suction airway even through the endotracheal tube administer all oxygen or increase the uh, fraction of uh, of oxygen from the ventilator and place patient to the left lateral position i'll explain you why to place this one as uh, stomach is in a, on the left side of the body and when you change it to the position it becomes uh, with reserve with reserve for fluid if you are uh, if patient is on the left side it will be like this and level if stomach is not full level will go down and decrease risk of the second aspiration or aggravation so as i told you suction through the endotracheal tube consider to make a chest x-ray for confirmation bronchoscopy and bronchial lavage are more invasive but are confirmatory and after you can transfer patient to the uh, intensive care unit or high dependency dependency unit and starvation protocols uh, before you are giving anesthesia to any of the patient even in, in the emergency you should know this that uh, for children or for uh, especially for newborns a uh, bottle of formula milk and breast milk for uh, six and six hours food for any of the patient at le least uh, at least six hours uh, just before starting anesthesia and clear fluids uh, two hours before anesthesia it means if uh, you have you have a fluid here sorry for a picture so clear fluids in a glass uh, bottle you should uh, even see uh, next to the to, next to the bottle you can see clearly even a text it is clear fluid if it is a, a juice or any of any of the uh, liquid with uh, components like fruits it is not clear fluid and during gum at least two hours thank you for your uh, watching have a great time guys